BYA now because you were asked. Cheryl Cutter uh, wrote to us about this especially gruesome murder gaining attention out of Knoxville, Tennessee. Uh, she writes in January, the most horrible double murder happened in Knoxville involving the carjacking and horrific murders of a young couple. I think people should know the outcome of this case, where well, that case is still ongoing. Cheryl's talking about the murders of Shannon Christian and Chris Newsom. Police say the couple was murdered in January. Newsom's body was found bound and burned. He was shot at least three times. Christian's body was found a few days later in a nearby home. Her body had been stuffed inside a large trash can in the home's kitchen. Four people so far charged in the attack, appearing in court just this week, and a judge setting trial dates for each one of them. Considering the race of the murdered couple and the race of the suspects, black on white, the case has certainly touched off a firestorm in Knoxville. Erica Eastap is a local reporter with our Fox affiliate WATE in Knoxville. And Erica, good morning to good you. Good morning. Uh, tell us what happened in court this week. Well, basically, the, the prosecutors are still considering and waiting for evidence from the crime lab to return, and that's crime lab in Nashville. Right now, they say they are considering the death penalty in this case, but they have to wait for that evidence to come back. So trial will not start the first trial until next year in May. All of the suspects will be tried separately. Yeah, how good are the prosecutors saying their evidence is? They believe they have really strong evidence. They have uh, DNA from the crime scene. They have fingerprints of one of the suspects in Shannon Christian's car. They found the couple's uh, cell phones and some of their personal things in the house where Shannon Christian's body was found. They have lots of evidence. Yeah, it was black on white, and it's gotten a lot of attention for that as well. Um, do prosecutors believe this was a hate crime? You know, they're not giving us any sense of whether or not they believe it is a hate crime. Um, police originally told us that they believe this was just a crime of opportunity. The men charged in this case actually have been described in court as a gang of robbers, um, actually robbing convenience stores and carjacking people. And they tell us it was just a crime of opportunity. Yeah, there was torture involved in this as well. And I don't want to go too deep in the details. I know locally you're not even reporting them because, <laughs> frankly, they are, they are gruesome. Trial in one year. Year. Capital punishment, is that on the line? It is definitely on the line. Um, yesterday in court, the DA would not tell whether or not they are seeking the death penalty. We get a sense here in Knoxville that they are, but they would only say that they are still considering it in this case. Erica, you Steve, trial begins in one year. W-A-T. Erica, thank you for your time today. Thank you.